classroom. Now let's begin. Now here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Oh, they're ready. You guys ready to do this? How about you? Krauser House is here. These guys are rocking. Hey, you guys, I am so excited you joined us because today we have the students and our teachers from Holy Ghost Preparatory School in Bucks County, and they just entered the classroom. The show that pitched students against their favorite teachers. Hey, hold on. Now check these guys out. What's up, everybody? Yeah. It's been a pep rally since they got off the bus because they know what's on the line, and it's $500 cash and bragging rights for the students to say they're smarter than their teachers. Are they going to do it? I have no idea, but we're jumping into a pop quiz. Ooh, baby. All right, okay, guys, grab your buzzers. We have a one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each one you get right is going to put 10 points into your pocket. You buzz in first. Just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, your team's locked out. The other side's going to have a chance to buzz in, steal those points. Everyone's just smiling at me right now, saying, game on. This one starts right now. Here we go. In the four main professional sports in the U.S., what does the abbreviation NHL mean? Mr. Kraus. National Hockey League. There he goes. A centurion was a professional soldier commanding about 100 men in what army? Mr. Bushek. Roman. Roman's right. The Jets and the Sharks are two rival gangs in what musical set in New York City in the 1950s? John. Uh, the West. <laughs> <laughs> okay, John, how about that answer? <laughs> Teachers, Mr. Bushek. West Side Story? There he is. Hey, John, it was West Side Story. Uh, An anion has what type of charge? Ryan. Negative. Good. What is the largest prime number under 20? Tony. Eight. Mr. Krause. 19. 19 is right. There he goes. James Hallett is the birth name of the X-Men member who goes by what nickname? John. Wolverine. Good. Titan, Triton, Phobos, Io, and Ganymede. Excuse me, Ganymede are all names of what solar system bodies? Woo! Mr. Call Pinto. Moons. Moons is right. Extra credit question worth double. Katy Perry got engaged to what Pirates of the Caribbean actor in 2019? Mr. Kraus. Orlando Bloom. Good. West Virginia and what other state border? Ohio to the east. Ryan. Indiana. For the steel teachers? Mr. Call Pinto. Pennsylvania. There it goes. Which Rugrats baby has red hair and worries a lot? Tony. Chucky. Chucky, my man Chucky Finster. How many, oh, and that is it for Pop Quiz. Shut her down. <laughs> Teachers, they came out on fire. 80 points for them, and they're feeling it. <laughs> Students, 30 points for you. They're feeling it, too. They're in the game. All our feet are wet, which means we're off to a great start. Today, ladies and gentlemen, the students and teachers, they're from Holy Ghost Prep and Ben Salem, PA. <laughs> Home of the Firebirds. That's a cool mascot, the Firebirds. Mm -hmm. All right, so Holy Ghost Prep, you guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I wore my Holy Ghost red today for you guys. Big day today in the classroom to get you here. Ryan, your team captain, what's up? We're playing for NHS scholarships today. Nice, $500 would go a long way, right? Yes, sir. Hopefully you could get that, man. All right, so guys, check this. This family dynamic with you is very crazy because you've got someone born in like all the different states. Yes. What's that about? Uh, my dad moved around a lot for his job, so. Everyone's just born in a different state? Yeah, I'm from Illinois. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, welcome to Pennsylvania, man. Thank Glad you. you're Thank here. You. Glad you're on the show. John, 12th grader, uh, you, love, you love the outdoors so much that you just love to run outside a whole lot and jump over stuff. Oh, yeah, all the time. Like, are we talking hurdling here? Yes, yep, I do the hurdles. Like, isn't that dangerous? <laughs> yeah, you fall uh, a lot of the time, a lot more than you'd, you'd think, I think. Uh, no, that's exactly why I don't hurdle, John. <laughs> the worst injury you can get, it's not a broken arm, it's a brush burn because that thing, there's nothing you, Tony agrees with me, there's nothing you can do. That's absolutely correct, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Well, hopefully, are you awesome at it? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, all right, cool, man. Hey, Tony, good to see you down the end there, 12th grader. Any uh, relation to Tony Soprano? Can't say, but all who right. knows? Yeah, right? You, you don't want to close the door on anything here. You don't know who I'm related to. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, hey, you're El Presidente kind of at your school. Tell me about that. A little. President of the French Club. Let's go. Meetings. That's All right, some bragging rights there. You don't want to flex on them, but like, you're like, I'm president of the French Club. <laughs> exactly. Well, what, what, do you, what do you do as president of the French Club? We uh, gather together, speak French, get uh, French-themed snacks. Nice. Activities. All right, cool, all man. Stuff, yeah, man. let me know about next meeting. I'm in. <laughs> all right, guys, good luck today. You got teachers over here that want to beat you. Don't let them. 
Mr. Krause, I don't know. Richard. I don't, <laughs> all right, <laughs> hey. Uh, 500, my man. If you win, where's it going? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, Richard. We have a uh, service program, Ghosts Around the World, where we send kids uh, to do service projects in wow. countries such as Tanzania and uh, Dominican Republic. That's so. incredible. What yep. a great program for the school, and that yep. would go a long way. He's a Spanish teacher, and I go, hey, are you uh, you want to speak some Spanish? And he goes, I'm off the clock. So? Nope. Not getting paid for this, so. <laughs> That's it. No. I totally get it. Uh, he's also the JV basketball coach. How was the season this year? Pretty good. We won 20 games this year, nice. qualified for the state tournament, and uh, we got a good team coming up next year, too. Awesome, so. man. A lot to look forward to. Good yep. for you. Uh, Say your last name for me. I say Bushick. Bushick. All right, yep. nice. It's such a good last name. I want to make sure I'm saying it right. <laughs> engineering teacher. Guys, he says when he gets hired, listen, I'll be your engineering teacher, but I get to do what? My one demand was I get to wear a lab coat. Why? Yes. Right. Just well, I work in a lab. It's called the Innovation Lab, and I figured, well, I'm in a lab. I might as well wear a coat. It's great. It's covered in pockets. Plus, it makes you look so much smarter. I, gotta I know. The, the disguise yeah. is perfect then. All right, perfect. Good <laughs> to see you. And Mr. Colapinto, good to see you, sir. Uh, you're the Calc math teacher. Uh, guys, I am so excited to have him here today because the I, a few years back, I believe this is the Pennsylvania Teacher of the Year right here, the best one in the state. <laughs> Did they have like a parade for you or anything? No, they were supposed to, but who uh, they nobody nobody would have shown up. All right, well we listen, had a, we had a mini parade in school. Consider this your party right now. The Thank show you. today is your congratulations you party. Hey, right, you know there's no better congratulations than sending him right to detention. That's what we're playing. Okay, teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. Here's how detention works. I'm in the trailing team a category. So, guys, we're going to start with you. You're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or if you want to pass. Choose to play. You answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention, but if you get it wrong, be careful because they can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question. Same exact elimination rules apply. Get everyone into detention. I'm giving you 40 points. So, students, you can come crawling right back into this thing, and we're going to start with you. Category, genetics. Play. Play. In humans, each cell normally contains how many pairs of chromosomes? 23. 23 and me is right. Good job, guys. Ryan, John, and Tony Soprano, who's going to detention? We'll send Mr. Colapinto. Yeah, I, I bet he's the PA teacher of the year. Why not? <laughs> All right, Mr. Colapinto. Yeah, right over there in detention. Don't worry, it's his first time on the show, guys. He's not really sure where to go yet, but we'll get him there. How about it? And we move over to our category teachers, history. Play it. I'm bad at history. You want to pass it? I... We're going to play it. All right, here we All go. Right. What famous military cemetery was established during the Civil War on the grounds of an estate belonging to Confederate General Robert E. Lee's family? I'm going to say Arlington National Cemetery. That's exactly Very correct. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Teachers, stay alive. And how about this? One of these smiling young men are going to go to detention. Who's it going to be? Ryan, we'll have to see uh, Mr. Chapman there. All right, Ryan, out of the game. <laughs> Ryan takes a seat in detention, and we move on. Here we go. Category, literature. Play it. Let's we'll play it. Journey to the center of the earth, 20,000 leagues under the sea, and around the world in 80 days were written by what French novelist Jules often Verne. called the father of science fiction? Jules Verne. Yeah, there you go. Okay, they strike back. Nicely done, fellas. John, Tony, Mr. Kraus or Mr. Bushick? Mr. Bushick. Mr. Bushick, out of the game. Oh, Leaving go. the house of Kraus. Okay, here we go. Category, it goes to television. <laughs> I'll play it. I have no idea why you laughed at that, but I love that you did. <laughs> Scott McCall, Lydia Martin, and Styles Stalinsky are characters in what supernatural MTV show set in Beacon Hills? Uh, uh, Laguna Beach. That's a heck of a guess by him. Teen Wolf, though, is the right answer. Laguna Beach was a popular show for back in the 2000s. Yeah. I hate to do this to you, sir, but you are going to detention. 
Hey, Ryan, Ryan, you're officially out of detention. Come join your teammates because guess what? John, Tony, and Ryan just got another 40 points added to their score. Guys, you're within 10. And you, don't go anywhere because some of our contestants are going to study hall when we come back. How about them saving your life? They said, Ryan, you're coming out of detention. You're not staying. I wish you could have seen this commercial break because both sides are in a heated, heated battle. They're from Holy Ghost Prep in Bucks County. And all they did for the entire commercial break was strategize over this next round. I can tell you right now, both these teams want to win. How about this score? Teachers, 80 points on the board. Well done so far. Students, 70. 10 points separates winning and losing as of right now. And there's still plenty of time left in this game for anyone to win. We're starting it right back up. We're going to study hall. All right, here's how the game will work. Each team, you're going to select one player from the opposite side to enter study hall. They're going to have 10 seconds to study a photo. I'm going to ask three questions about that photo. Both players will have five seconds to write down their answers to each question on the chalkboard. We'll reveal it. You get it right. Boom. 10 points in your pocket. Guys, every question matters with a game this close. You have five seconds to decide who's going to study hall. Okay, teachers, we're going to start with you. Uh, we're going to go with Tony. Tony, hold on right there, my man. They did pick the guy with glasses, didn't they? <laughs> and who are we going to send him back in? The... Uh, Mr. Bushick. Mr. Bushick, Tony, let's go to study hall. <laughs> All right, boys, let's play a clean game here. Let's see how well you guys do. You feeling comfortable? Comfortable. You feeling ready? Let's do it. Ten seconds on the clock, not a second longer. The picture goes up right now. All right, take down the picture from last year's birthday party of mine, huh? That was a good party, it was a good party. All right, guys, remember, you have five seconds to write down your answers. Good luck. Mrs. Potato Head has accessories that Mr. Potato Head doesn't. A handbag and what else? Good luck. Reveal your answers, please. Here we go. We have earring and a flower. The correct answer. Earrings is right, Mrs. Potato Head looking good. Taking that 20 point lead for the teachers and the game continues, including the thumb. How many fingers do the potato heads have on each hand? Tough question, here we go. Reveal your answers. I have three, I three. and I have four. The correct answer, four <laughs> fingers. He strikes back. Tony gets it. Hey, listen, you can tie this game right here, Tony, if you get this one right and he doesn't. Question three. Let's see how we do. What color are Mr. Potato Head's shoes? Reveal your answers. We have blue, blue and blue. Blue skidoo. We can too. Is that the right answer? It's blue, absolutely nice. right. That was a tough study hall, and these two just aced it. Hey, and we're not done yet. Teachers, 100. Students with 90. Music class is next, followed by the all-important final exam. The classroom is still in session when we come back. What a round, boys. What a round. Both sides on fire right there. Come here. Yeah, there it is. Look, now we're like one awesome row. Guys, look how good we look as a row. Man, it's picture perfect. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Holy Ghost Prep in Bucks County. Look, I've been watching these guys all day. You guys have been pumped up. You've been rocking. This bird's been flapping, doing this, the whole thing. It's been great. We're loving it. And the game, how good has this been? you got to love this, right? It's been awesome. All right, and the scores. Teachers, 100 points for them. you got 90 points for the students. It's anybody's game. You go to school there. These are all your buddies. How cool is it to see them up there? It's awesome. Right? Have they been practicing for this? I hope so. Right. <laughs> Me too. So, like, what do you think? Think they win this thing? I think so. They'll All bring right. it back. They got it. All right, what's your name? Jesse. Jesse, listen, I got somebody. His name's John. He's actually playing the game, and he wants to ask you something special. John, what is that? Jesse, do you want to go to prom with me? <laughs> you got to say something. 
Oh, let's go! Johnny! Unbelievable! You never know what's gonna happen on the classroom, but guys, the game continues because music class is next. How about prom? What? I don't know what to think right now, but I'm so happy. Guys, enjoy prom. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. All right, grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then the man is going to take over. You know him as Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia. He's going to read a small portion of the lyrics. The first person to buzz in, correctly answer my question, is going to win 10 points for their team. But if you get it incorrect, your team's locked out. And the other side's going to have a chance to jump in and steal those points. We have three sets of lyrics today. Here we go. Question one. What hip-hop duo sings these lyrics in a 2016 collaboration that gained popularity through a viral challenge? Mike Jarek, take it away. All right, Richard, you better be ready for this one. Here we go. First one. That girl is a real crowd pleaser. Uh, small world. All her friends know of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the buzzer stays silent. No guesses, guys. We were looking for Ray Schremerd, Black Beatles. Ray Schremerd. You guys remember the viral videos now? Yeah. I, I did a few of them. They were excellent. Here we go. Question number two. What Canadian band sings these lyrics in a 2013 song? Mike Jarek, hit us with it. Don't you know that I'm human too? Hmm? Why you got to be so rude? I'm going to marry her anyway. Mr. Krause. This came out right when I was proposing to my now wife, Colleen. That's magic. How about it? Man, there's love everywhere on the show right now. Kids are asking people to prom. He knows a song because of his wife. This is unbelievable. This is, I'm telling you, the classroom should be a romantic show. Next season. Here we go. Question. What performer co-wrote and sings these lyrics in a 2018 hit song? Good luck, Mike. Last one. Yeah, we're all we need. When we're holding each other. I'm taken back to 2002. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually afraid of Mike after that one. The answer, Anne Marie, 2002. Mike, you did an awesome job on that one too, but nobody got it. Students stay silent. Teachers stay silent and the scores stay exactly where they are. 110 to 90. How about it, guys? I'm calling it right now. Semester's done. We're going to the final exam. Okay, guys, here you go. The top of today's final exam is Mexico. How about that, Mexico? I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. You're gonna to work together and write down your answers during the commercial break. Obviously, no writing quite yet. Let's give you these questions first. Question one, what is the capital of Mexico and one of the largest cities in the world? Question number two about Mexico. Native Mexican Selma Hayek voiced Kitty Softpaws in what 2011 movie? Finally, what state was annexed by the United States in 1845 after it had won its independence from Mexico? All right, there they are, the three questions that are going to take us to the end of this game. We're smiling students right now could possibly overtake their teachers in an awesome game here with Holy Ghost Prep. Who's going to win? I have no idea, but you have to come back after the break to find out. Speaking of awesome shows, I bet you you would be awesome right here on this one. You want to be a part of it? Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Yeah. 
Welcome back into the classroom. We have an absolute game on our hands here. It's Holy Ghost Prep. We have teachers, we have students, and we have a close game. The scores, teachers 110, students 90. Man, both sides have been awesome. The topic of today's final exam, it's Mexico. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions about it. This game's had a little bit of everything here. Teachers took the lead early. Students fired right back. John asked his girlfriend to prom. Live on the show, it was crazy. John, are you getting a limo? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, we're getting a limo. <laughs> if not, he is now. Here we go. He needs that 500. Let's do it. What is the capital of Mexico, one of the largest cities in the world? Students, you need this to stay alive. Let's get it. Mexico, Mexico city, city is right. Going to get you up to 100 points. Here we go. Let's go right to the teachers. Mr. Calapinto, you said Mexico City. Bring it back. 210, 190, and the game continues. Native Mexican Selma Hayek voiced Kitty Softpaws in what 2011 movie? All right, students, John? Lego movie. Incorrect, not going to do it. And how about this? With the score standing at 190 for you, teachers, if you get this right, this game is over. $500 is yours, and you're going home with the bragging rights to say you beat the students. Native Mexican Salma Hayek voiced Kitty Softpaws in what 2011 movie? For the win, you said... Was it Puss in Boots? That's a $500 yeah. answer. Puss in Boots is. Teachers win the game. Come on out here and get that cash. And what state was annexed by the United States in 1845? It, wanted to, it was Texas. Both sides had it right, and this check is going home with the teachers. Thanks for being here today on The Classroom. We'll see you next time. 500 beans, Ryan. You guys were close. Lego movie, guys? Is there even a cat in